What's up guys? Woke up with a sore throat and a headache. We leave in two hours to drive four hours to then fly two hours to end up in Vietnam. Nelly's still in bed. But yesterday, I found out that there's this flying amphibious hang glider boat out here and just a bunch of kids fly it around. Feels a little sketch, but looks awesome. They said that if I got here in the morning, they would take me for a ride. So we're gonna try this out. Hopefully they know what they're doing. Chris was feeling sick yesterday. He's feeling better now. 100% better right now. That's awesome. We need to do a video of what foods to avoid and what water to avoid when you're traveling. Because it looks safe, the locals tell you it's safe, but your body just isn't used to it. So, about this flying boat thing. Yesterday when I saw it, we were looking around to see whose it was. No one showed up, so me and that Rastafarian guy, we sat in it, hung around, hoping someone would show up. No one did. Then finally, I just kept pointing at people and pointing at the boat. I was like, this is yours? And one guy's like, yeah. So we walked over to it and then he sees someone else walking to it and points at that guy. He's like, is this, can you fly? And he's like, yeah, I can fly. It's like, all right, good enough for me. I see the boat flyer amphibious hang glider thingy. There it is. No one's by it. <laughs> see here. Gotta make a scene until someone shows up. Some guys started yelling at me that they're eating breakfast and to wait five minutes. Okay, cool. He said he's gonna call someone. That's good, they have someone they call. So this has gotta be more legit than just a motorboat with wings. Look at this thing. It's solid enough. I'm not gonna mess with it actually. Don't wanna jack it up. It's gotta be good, I don't see any rips. Sweet. Funny story, one year for my birthday, Nels and I were just dating and she said she had a surprise for me. So we drive to a place called Point in the Mountain, which is like a world hub for a hang gliding spot in Utah. Seriously, people come from all over the world because there's this perfect hill with all these thermals right there. And as we're driving to it, that's the one thing I never want to do was hang glide. Because I've thrown a paper airplane. I know what happens. Eventually it falls, right? And so I was like, no, what? Like I'd rather bungee jump, skydive, do whatever. But she's like, I already booked it. We should just try it. And we get there and no one else is there except the guy that's gonna take us hang gliding. Come to find out, she set up parasailing and the guy called her that morning and said, I'm sorry, we can't parasail. And it was on my birthday. And she's like, no, we have to. And he said, there's not the right wind. She's like, well, we have to do something. <laughs> like putting my life in risk. And he's like, okay, I got a buddy who likes to hang glide, usually when no one else does. And so he contacted him and the guy's like, yeah, we'll go check it out. We get up on top of this hill and we're like attached to this hang glider. I was like, look, I pulled him aside and I said, hey, I know that my girlfriend's bent on doing this. I'm fine if we don't, like I'm totally fine. He's like, no, 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 let's just check it out. We'll just, we'll just get strapped in and see. And we're standing on the edge of this cliff and he's like, jump with me. And I'm a foot taller than him. So really I'm the only one standing while he's strapped in with his feet dangling. And so I jumped and he's like, feels good enough. Let's run. No jump. So we ran caught some air and then flew off and it was the coolest thing I've ever done. We were up in the air and after a while I asked him, I was like, so can you see when the thermals are perfect in one spot of where we can just sit? And he's like, no, I just saw that bird over there and I thought we'd check it out. <laughs> I look over and there's a bird just in the sky next to us. And all of you professional hang gliders, if any of you are watching this, maybe I have no idea what I'm talking about and maybe I misunderstood him but I swear that happened. And we were flying and it was the coolest thing. We ended up flying back close to the mountain and we're diving towards the mountain and he told me, whatever you do, just just hold on to your straps here and don't touch the pole. Because sometimes people get nervous and they want to push the bar out or they're holding it and he can't push it out to fly. So I'm just holding, like shaking, holding, and we're coming closer and closer to the hill. And I'm thinking, you know what, he he's freaking out, but he's just keeping cool with me. We're gonna totally crash. And literally seconds before we hit the mountain, he pushes the bar out and we just whoosh, graze the top of the six foot tall weeds grass on this hill. It was crazy, so cool. And after that, I was like, okay, I love this sport. I've never done it since, now I'm doing this. It's 7.45 now, we have to leave at 9 a.m. I still haven't seen the driver. It's 7.55, they said five more minutes and then we launch. They love that phrase. Also, I think he's drinking right now. He's mixed a few things in his cup and he seems a little slow, he's like, five minutes, five minute launch. I don't know if this is a good idea. Or it's a great idea. Getting that running. I love those 
those are life jackets or parachutes? This is my protection right here. I'm scared. I'm trying to think of something motivational to say. I'm scared. Alright guys, here with the pilot, I think, Woo! and uh, we're going to go for a ride. This guy is a legit pilot. That was good. He's the man. If you ever come here, check that out. That was so sick. <laughs> Dude, guys, that, <laughs> that was incredible. Um, if you get a chance to do that, I mean, just find an approved pilot. He's got a license, I'm sure. That was awesome though, that was so cool. Oh sweet, I'm fulfilled. Thank you Cambodia. Let's see, it is 8.30, we leave in 30 minutes. I should probably get some pho, or pho, however you say it. It's Vietnamese like soup, really hot. That'll be good for my throat. But if I don't have enough time for it, that was still worth it. I've done one thing that scared me this week so far. Hey two, tarantula eating in that. This is a big week. You're home. You're back. Yeah. It was epic. Chris, yeah? It was, okay. it was you so it? good. No. I'm it's alive, so guys. so warm. Yeah, I was freaking out. Here's Nels. I'm feeling better. Are you? Yeah. This good. is the first night I didn't like shiver and sweat and all that good stuff. It was yeah, my turn to do that. Just kidding, I'm just a little bit sick. But we got 20 minutes to pack, get some pho, and then take off to the airport. Okay, do something that scares you that's mostly safe. <laughs> and let us know about it on Instagram or Twitter. Peace! We forgot to bury a treasure in Cambodia. Well, we didn't forget. I just was so sick that... And right. then I got sick. Yeah. And our driver, we had to rush, so we didn't get it buried on the beach. So we're here at the airport, leaving Cambodia to go to Vietnam. And we have to leave one in Cambodia because some people ask, are you going to leave one in Cambodia? And there are some people that watch this that live in Cambodia, that watch our vlogs. So, we are outside the airport in Phnom Penh. And we're just gonna give you some clues here. So in the parking lot here, there's L2. Okay, L2, that says L2. Here's a parking lot right here. 
There's a long road coming in. We're in the window of the airport. Right in there is a blue pumpkin. So we're directly across from it to this tree pot here. And this is where we're gonna bury it. Here's the treasure. It's good for an adventure package from the Jurgis. We're burying it. Whoever finds it, you know what to do. Read the instructions on there. Tag us. If you don't understand English, find someone who does. We're gonna bury it right here. Here. There it is. It's in the bush at the Phnom Penh Airport. Super class. <laughs> Treasure. And if you're traveling to Cambodia and you stop here, make sure you run outside the airport and grab it. Seriously, and do it. Hopefully nobody throws it in the trash. Sorry, this one was kind of not our best, but we did it. And that's all that matters. Yeah, let's go catch our fights. <laughs>